Welcome to The Arielle Show. I'm Arielle and I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have something really fun for you. This is a fabric coaster tutorial. I just made this design up pretty much this morning, so I hope you dig it. These are fabric coasters. You can check it out. The back is pretty cute too. And this is kind of awesome. Once you've learned the technique, you can just use all these different awesome fabrics and whip these things out for Christmas for everybody. So you're welcome. It just saved you a lot of time and money. Okay, so you're going to need your supplies. You're going to need some scissors. I got pink ones because everything's pink in my world. Um, I got a sewing machine. If you do not have a sewing machine, stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'll be telling you how to get your hands on one. Okay, you're also going to need some fabric. I've got this nice sturdy vinyl. This is going to be the backing for my coaster. And then I've also got these two prettier top fabrics and I love these both so much. Um, this one's going to be my biggest circle as well as my top tiniest circle and this is going to be the middle one. Now to get actual circles today, instead of just roughing it and eyeballing it like we usually do, I'm actually going to use this as my template for my biggest circle. That's going to be my medium sized circle. And this guy right here is going to serve as my tracer for the smallest circle. Okay, so you're going to grab a Sharpie, a fabric pen, whatever you have lying around. You're just going to begin by tracing out on your sturdier fabric, so that could be the vinyl or you can even use like a jean material. I'm going to do a circle, I guess this is about maybe four or five inches in diameter. And you want this definitely to be big enough to actually be functional. If, it, if it's too small and the mug won't sit on it correctly, it doesn't really work. So rather than cutting out your circle from a large piece of fabric, it helps to just cut out the square and then just cut around the circle. Okay, so here's this one. You're going to repeat this step with one of your fabrics, making it the same size as your backing. Okay, now I've got these two circles done. It's time for me to do my middle circle. I'm going to use this contrasting fabric here. I'm just going to go down a size in my circles. All right, and then the last thing to do is to create your smallest circle, and I'm gonna use the same fabric that I used for my bigger circle. All right, so now I've got my four different shapes cut out. You're gonna take your two bigger ones first and sandwich them together with the pretty sides out, not in. Usually we do it the other way when we're sewing. So you're gonna just line them up like that, and you're gonna put this thing in your sewing machine under your presser foot, and start kind of in the middle, and just do this snail pattern just like that, and start going wider and wider. So here we go. The reason I'm starting in the middle and working my way out is that this guarantees that none of the fabric puckers and that everything lines up really nicely. I want to note too that I'm using this hot pink thread because it's going to contrast with all the other colors of the coaster and the stitching that we're doing here is pretty cool. So I want my thread color to really pop. So I've gone around my circle once now, and I'm gonna go around it maybe three or four more times, and I'm gonna just intersect my stitching, just kind of go crazy with it, and that's gonna create just like this really cool texture. It's gonna make your coaster a massive conversation piece instead of just like a boring afterthought. So here we go. Okay, I've gone around my circle about three or four times, and I'm loving the way it's looking. So now is where you're gonna incorporate your other circles. So I'm gonna take my middle side circle and throw it in. I'm gonna off-center mine because I prefer that look over perfectly center. And then I'm gonna throw my other one, again, kind of off-center. And I'm gonna do my snail pattern now going in. Last time we did inside out, now we're gonna go outside in. And this is how I'm gonna start incorporating the whole thing together. So here we go. I'm gonna lift up my presser foot for a second. So now you can see the start of this. I've got the whole thing, it's being held together, it's looking good, but I want to go over the stitching like five or six more times. And this is why I love this project, because it's just so easy and you can just go crazy with it. Which usually you have to sew in straight lines when you're sewing, but not today kids, today we can do whatever we want. So here we go.
Just like that. So I'm done. I hope you thought that these look cute. They're all a little bit different. They all have a ton of personality. I think you're gonna get a lot of people totally digging these this holiday season. So I mentioned at the beginning of this episode that if you needed a sewing machine, we might be able to hook you up. So here's the deal. Singer is partnering with us to give away a sewing machine this episode. Isn't that freaking amazing? I would have killed to just have one a sewing machine like a couple years back. So if you want to win, all you have to do is be subscribed to The Ariel Show. I know some of you are thinking, well, I'm already subscribed. Can I still enter? Yeah, you're already entered because you're already subscribed. But if you want to up your chances of winning, you need to get your mama subscribing and your grandma subscribing and your puppy and your brother and all your friends, throw this thing up on social media and make a deal with your friends and say, hey, if you win, maybe we can split this thing. Maybe you can let me keep it at my house half the time on weekends. So that's what's up. That's what we're going to do. So I want to say a huge thanks to Singer for hooking you guys up this week, as well as always so much love to my patrons. You make the world go round as far as I'm concerned. I love you. You are wonderful. Everyone subscribe right here so you can win your sewing machine. I love you. I'll see you next week and I'll let you know which of you crazy people won. Bye. Stop, 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 stop.